Hi, so welcome back to Tanya's Tasting Table. I'm really glad you could join me today. Um, I have a lot of fun doing these wine reviews, so I hope you are as well. Uh, today I'm doing a little comparison tasting with uh, two Bordeaux. So I have from the left bank, Chateau de Pez, and from the right bank, I have Chateau de Sal. Uh, these wines are both exceptional. They have a lot of similarities to them. They're pretty close to being the exact same price. They are the same vintage. They have pretty much the same grape varieties in them. But when you taste them side by side, you'll see that they taste very different. If you're studying about wines, these are great to help you along with your studies. So this uh, Santa Steph comes from the left bank. And what does that mean? So we have to bring us back a little bit further. So we are in France. First of all, we are in Bordeaux. Bordeaux is famous for having some of the best, most complex, long age worthy wines. Um, Lafitte Rothschild comes to mind as being one of the top producers of Bordeaux. If you've ever heard of first growth, second growth, third growth, fifth growth, we're talking Bordeaux here. The grape varieties here have done exceptionally well in California. So that's what these are what a lot of uh, California Cabernets are modeled after, if you will. So your big heights and silver oak and uh, well, there's a slew of other wineries to mention. Um, but what, what's going on in Bordeaux is Bordeaux is separated by two rivers, the Dardogne and the Garonne. And what the area is between there is called the entre du mer entre du mer literally translates to being between two seas, but it's really between two rivers. So um, a little bit about the winery. So Chateau de Pez um, was created uh, in the 15th century and was dated by the owners of Aubryon to another family and they kept it in their family for centuries and then until 1995 they sold the winery to um, the owners of Louis Roderer who really brought the winery up to some absolute magnificence. And then here we have Chateau de Sel, which is from Pomerol, and this is one of the oldest wineries in Pomerol, and largest of course. Um, this is, uh, Chateau de Sel is over 500 years old, and they've never sold, so that's the easiest, easy way to remember that. Um, and I don't know if I mentioned this, but this is from Santa Steph. So here we have a little bit of our left bank, and left bank is known for Cabernet. So Cabernet and the right bank is known for Merlot, but what they may or may not have taught you in the textbooks is that they grow both varieties in both areas. It's just that the left bank is more suited to Cabernet and the right bank is suited more to Merlot. So uh, here we're talking, we have 53% Merlot, 42 Cabernet, three and a half Petit Verdot, and one and a half Cab Franc. So a uh, real emphasis on both the Cabernet and the Merlot uh, together. And then here we have uh, almost all Merlot. So we have 82% Merlot, 9% Cabernet Franc, and Cabernet Sauvignon. And yes, I'm going to say that the Cab Franc really does shine in this wine. Of course, it's majority Merlot, but that Cabernet Franc really comes through in a beautiful, beautiful manner. So let's taste the wine. So here we have, we'll do the left bank first. Uh, it's a little less fruit forward. And on the nose, Actually, get a little vanilla right up front so there is a good amount of uh, about 40% new French oak here 40% uh, first used and about 20% second use so there's a good amount of oak influence here but then there's also this nice almost citrus character to it like almost like a citrus peel like a dried lemon zest and black currants and black cherry and the, the fruit is beautiful but it's a little bit more of a savory wine um so if you are not somebody who loves those bigger more jammier wines that we can find in the new world you need to discover bordeaux because bordeaux really holds a lot of those elegant wines that have gorgeous fruit but it's not jammy in any sense there's a lot of elegance here 
and then we'll pour a little bit of the Pomerol Chateau de Sel, and this I'm expecting to be plummier and velvetier um, because Merlot is typically very plummy. But you know, it has a little smokiness to it. It has a little cedar quality to it. It's about a third new French oak, but it has enough to give it a little bit of a nuance. Oh, these wines are really delicious, really amazing. I mean, I wouldn't say I'm gonna wear them like perfume because they're not floral and spicy and things like that, but they, as a wine lover, you just wanna stick your nose in these, but as a real wine lover, you wanna stick them in your mouth. So, excuse me. There's that graphite. There's that graphite. So. When you're learning about Bordeaux, you'll often hear people describe Bordeaux having this graphite quality to it. And it really does. It really does. You don't find them necessarily in the really inexpensive um, you know, 1099, $15.99 Bordeaux. But when you get a little bit higher price point, you definitely get them. So here we're going a little bit more black fruits. And then here, Oh, I do like that little bit of a smokiness to it. It's really quite lovely. It's so elegant. You would, if you don't like smokiness, it's not like you would get a lot of it in here. There's just a little bit of a nuance going on. For me, I get a lot more strawberry. So not quite Grenache style strawberry, but I get this nice, um, baked strawberry almost like a strawberry pie or something like that but then there's this really beautiful bitter note to it at the end almost reminds me of coffee not quite that intense but there's there's some coffee in here um so visually they look pretty similar i would say um and they taste pretty different I mean, they both have the graphite to them. They both have beautiful fruit with a savory quality to them. But here we have a lot more dark fruits. Here we have a lot more red fruits. Um, both of them, I'm going to say, will age for quite some time. So we're 2021 right now. These are 2016. So they've had five years from uh, harvest. I would give them another 20 years. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, subscribe.